Thanks for joining us today. My name is John Dubox with Premier Marketing, and we'll be spending the next 45 minutes to an hour or so discussing one of the options you have as an independent insurance agent to market yourself and your agency with a demand product by a demand name within uh, the org within the arena that we're discussing, and we'll spend that time uh, going over some different things that we offer you here at Premier, but uh, concentrating on how Emeritus can help you drive business throughout the year and fulfill the needs that you have for your prospects and clients. You'll notice in the software package, there's a section for questions and for chat. We ask that you put your questions in the question box. There's a bit of logic to that. And while we do answer most of them through the course of the presentation, we'll make certain at the end that we address anything that has been uh, unresolved. Um, you will be receiving a link to today's presentation, to the recording. It is being recorded. And that and other information that we reference throughout the course of the presentation will be sent to everyone who expressed interest in today's uh, discussion. With that said, let's start with a little bit of level set as to who Premier Marketing is. Most of you are well aware of Premier Marketing, but we are, as an overview, a national marketing organization founded in 1968 that's part of the Integrity Marketing Platform with offices across the country. We act as an insurance wholesaler through independent insurance agents such as yourself to deliver upon products that they need in the insurance coverage world, and we do so through contracts at the highest possible commission levels with recruiting contracts available to those who qualify. We do so through a complete portfolio of products, so the base Medicare programs, the Medicare Advantage, Medicare Supplement, and standalone Part D drug programs are available through our organization, as are life insurance and annuity products, final expense life insurance, pre-need plans, and long and, -term, long and short term care programs, disability income, and ancillary benefits, such as what we'll discuss today uh, in the extra products, the programs that are needed that offer dental vision hearing products, critical illness cancer plans, hospital indemnity and accident coverage, and a telehealth program that we rolled out recently with MD Live. When you look at the Medicare Advantage carriers, it's got the national players there for you, for your use through our organization, and many of the strong regional carriers that can make a difference for you in your market. And the same philosophy carries over into the standalone Part D program, which in many cases are part of the contract for Medicare Advantage for a number of these carriers. When you look at Medicare supplements, you got a great selection and tools that are set up to help you be successful in this space. And the same philosophy carries over into the ancillary products where in each of the categories, we have the national leaders for you with our organization, and they are the source of conversation for today. So kind of a background, since many of us are on the call are concentrating on the Medicare market, you don't come on a program like today without hearing about the silver tsunami, the aging of the baby boomers, one every 10 seconds, 10,000 plus a day. Well, if you go based just on age, we're not looking at the Medicare market in its entirety because there's an increasing number of individuals, many times in order to coincide with some of the Social Security benefits that they file for, that are accessing benefits later than their 65th birthday, um, deferring that benefit for one reason or another. But that number is made up for by the folks that are under 65 accessing Medicare benefits um, because of disability, and these folks make a great audience for us as well with the ancillary products because they're part of a demographic that has some challenges. Two-thirds of the population have three-plus chronic illnesses. Um, they have challenges with their budget as well, both income and assets. So we want to make certain that we're able to accommodate them whatever their choice is for base medical coverage. So those folks that may defer Part B, or decline Part B, or the folks that take it and just add on a drug plan, they are a great audience for us for ancillary products, as are folks that select the standardized, modernized MedSup, or go the other route with Medicare Advantage, because these, these programs tend to be fee-for-service, pay on an, in addition to any other type of coverage. So across the spectrum of choices that people have with Medicare, we have an audience. 
with Emeritus. What we see too with the folks that are entering into Medicare coverage, that includes the agents, the folks that deferred and are coming in, we're seeing a pretty even split with Medicare Advantage and MedSup. Once again, both key audiences for our product today. And the category that says Original Medicare, well, that might well be just folks on Original Medicare, but that may also include the, the dual beneficiary, Medicare, Medicaid, folks that have retiree coverage, um, folks that are accessing care at the VA. In each of those choices within that subset, we also have an audience for today's topic. And in order to help you translate some of the terms, well, part of the follow-up that you'll receive is the guide to the commonly used acronyms. I've been in this business for 35 plus years now. Golly, I'm old. Um, there's always something that pops up that go, gee, what's that mean? Or, hey, is that what I think it is? This gives you that background to say, hey, I can speak on an educated basis for this. And it's important because surveys have found that people aren't actually doing their annual reviews. And because these products are regulated differently than the base Medicare products, you can cold call, you can reach out to them through different venues, and it can be an opening to discuss all the other coverages they have in play as well, because a lot of these folks that didn't do the annual review, they are in the particularly vulnerable groups that we wanna reach, but they're also a grouping of folks that don't understand what they have. In many cases, an explanation of that base benefit Plus, the opportunity for ancillary coverage can make a great difference for the folks that are out there because these programs tend not to be on the government supplied site. They're not on the health um, plan finder with uh, uh, Medicare, with CMS. So it behooves us to reach out to this population and speak to it because even the website, if they don't use that, many of them don't crack the book. They get every October, they aren't using an app on their phone. They're just not taking the information that's available from different sources. Medicare has some really cool videos on YouTube that helps them understand their coverages. You go on that website and look at the views, you'd be shocked how many people don't use it. And we want to make certain that all of that type of tools that are available for delivery of information, including some proprietary stuff that we'll discuss later in the presentation, they need to give us the opportunity in this new normal, taking into account the pandemic, how a person wants to meet. We need to deliver that information uh, by an in-person visit or in an increasingly large amount of folks doing it virtually. So having the electronic support and improvements in that support from time to time is crucial to our success. And I think you'll see with our guest speaker, that they do that very well. Because you've got an audience out there and they're being trained by all sorts of sources. I had seven appointments with a specialist during this last year. All of them were virtual, still virtual appointments. So you have doctors and providers, dentists, hospitals as well, that are training people to get the information electronically. And they're becoming much more savvy with it and many more folks, particularly with some of the legislation and assistance that rolled out for broadband help, well, they're getting to know how to consume this data. And it's important for us because not only do we satisfy the need, but the more products we have in a household, the stronger our retention or persistency rates are. Because they don't even have to be with all the same company. They just have to be with the same agent, you, and that can be very helpful. So finally, I'm done blathering on at 11.11. That's good luck, good karma. That is. We present today's speaker, which is uh, our friend Taylor Davis, who's going to give us information about the Emeritus opportunity and how the tools that they have adjusted can be of great help to us. So at this time, I'm turning control over to Mr. Davis. And Taylor, you have the helm. Awesome. Thank you so much, John. I appreciate uh, appreciate you having me on, and, and thanks everyone for for joining on uh, well here in Oklahoma this beautiful Wednesday. So hopefully wherever you're at, um, it's it's getting better weather um, than it has been in the past, you know, a couple months. So definitely looking forward to spring. But again, thanks everyone for for joining. As John mentioned, we're going to be going over how Emeritus stands out from the crowd. 
of course, there are no waiting periods, next day effective dates, large network, great negotiated rates. And, and one of the most important things that I like to talk about is ease of enrollment, which I'll be going over here at the, at the end of the webinar. Before diving into Emeritus and, and our product and how we stand out from the crowd, I'd like to talk about you know, why Dental and Vision. Um, John touched on a, a lot of things throughout the, the industry of, of Medicare, Medicare supplements, all of that and why it's important. Dental and Vision is just as important, not only for your, your book of business, but also the demand is, is very, very large for Dental and Vision. There's some, there's some great examples that I, I have here throughout the webinar that shows you just how big the market is, especially for that over 65 for Dental and Vision. Now, what's in it, you know, really for the agents and, and, and the clients themselves? Referrals. You're, you're going to be saving that client a lot of money by going with Emeritus to Dental and Vision. I have a great hypothetical illustration that I'll show you as well. But that referral base is going to grow with an ancillary product like Emeritus Dental and Vision. You might be saying, you know, how does it grow? What's the conversation like? And there's a lot of uh, agents I talk to on a on a weekly basis saying, you know, what's your what's your what's your tip? What's your sales track when you are talking to clients about Emeritus Dental and Vision? 85, 90 percent of the time, it's Taylor, it's nothing that probably every other agent out there is doing. I'm just asking that question on a regular basis. Right? A lot of the agents I talk to say, you know, I'm just not bringing it up that often. It's just not a part of my practice. I don't know how to start that conversation. And I'm here to say that, again, 85, 90% of the agents out there are just asking that question. And ask that question, all they can say is no or yeah, tell me more. So that referral base is going to grow with a product like Dental Vision. When you save that, that client $500, $600, $800, if they go to the dentist tomorrow, they're going to be talking about it, either to their neighbors, their friends, their family. Your referral base is going to grow off this product. Persistency. John touches on, on it as well. The more products you have, the better persistency you're going to have with that client. Adding value to your client's life. That's what we, we strive for here at Emeritus with our product. We want to add value to the client's life as soon as possible. Again, that's why we have no waiting periods on preventive, basic, major, and child ortho. That's why we have next day effective dates. They can go as soon as tomorrow. And we have great in-network negotiated rates. So it's adding value to your client's life day one. A lot of the times when clients are talking about insurance, uh, you know, sometimes they're crossing their fingers. Well, hopefully I don't have to use this insurance. <laughs> the vision is, is totally different. Right? They're expecting to use it. They want to use it. That's why they're purchasing it. So if they can use it tomorrow, again, going back to your referral base, they're going to go in tomorrow. One, they're going to be happy that they can go that soon. And second, they're going to be saving a lot of money. Your reputation is going to grow along with your business and commissions. So why Emeritus? Uh, here at Emeritus, we're, we're a little bit different than other carriers that I might offer dental and vision. Our, our main focus here at Emeritus is dental and vision. It's kind of unheard of in the marketplace, like a, a carrier focusing on an ancillary product like dental and vision. We've been in this industry for a very, very long time. Emeritus has been around since the late 1800s, so we know this business inside and out when it comes to dental and vision. And we focus every year on how to provide more economic value to that client. Same thing, we want to have value as soon as possible to that client. We, we've done it in 2019. We launched uh, a new product, and then we, and in the in the beginning of 2020, uh, we launched additional states with that new product. So we do. We look at our product portfolio every year, and our expertise on this uh, on this product, we take a lot of data, a lot of feedback, and implement it into our new products. So with PrimeStar Protect, the product we're going to be going over today, we did that same thing in 2019. And I'm happy to say that we're going to be launching a new portfolio at the at, at probably about the end of July, beginning of August of this year, which I'll hand out here at the end of the webinar as well. But our focus is on creating economic value as soon as possible, not only for senior members, maybe you're uh, focusing on over 65 space, or maybe, hey, you have some younger, younger clients, that's fine. Our product is 18 and older as well. We focus on simplicity. Our, our, as you'll see throughout this webinar, we've tried to mirror the group side as much as possible. Primarily, most of the clients you're talking to have had some sort of dental group plan. 
So we want to make that product simplicity, especially on an ancillary product, as seamless as possible. Next thing is, is network. I think uh, when it comes to dental products, I like to say tied for first place is product itself and network. You're going to save just as much money with network as you are with product. So put those two together, you're going to be saving them a ton of money. And we'll go through a lot of stuff about our network, how large it is, how it benefits the client, and much more. And then the next thing is ease of enrollment, especially with an ancillary product, really any product out there. It needs to be a smooth enrollment process. Here at Emeritus, we send you a personalized hyperlink once you get contracted with us. That is uniquely tied to you. So once you do enroll a client, it'll, it'll notify you via email, or maybe you want that hyperlink on your website. Maybe you send it out to a thousand of your clients. Say, hey, I just got a new, uh, new great dental product, and you can send their hyperlink out. It's on a face-to-face -face sale. They don't need a social security number. There's no e-signature. Just a very, very seamless process. And we have just uh, about a couple of days ago, we actually launched a new website for that enrollment experience. So if you are currently contracted with us, that hyperlink will automatically take you to the new website. If you're not contracted with us yet, you'll kind of see um, that new website here at the end of the, the webinar. Nationwide coverage. I'm happy to say that we're in all 50 states. This plays a big part. If you do sell in multiple different states, you don't have to remember multiple different products. You just have to know emeritus and really focus on selling emeritus when it comes to dental. It's a good thing, right? You don't have to worry about pivoting different uh, to different carriers. Uh, you can always just talk about emeritus. You'll see in blue, we do have some state specifics, Texas, Illinois, and Connecticut. Very slight state specific, Illinois and Connecticut. If you do sell in those two states, uh, we just have a little bit different uh, co-insurance is a little bit different max benefits in those two states. Washington, Missouri, Pennsylvania, New York, New Hampshire, Maryland are just on our previous plans. We still have plans in those states. They're just on our 2018 and 19 product. So Prime Star Protect, as I mentioned before, we launched this product at the end of 2019 and at the beginning of 2020. We look again every year, how can we enhance our product? How can we bring more value to the client? With Prime Star Protect, no waiting periods, next day effective dates, preventative, that's exams, cleaning, bi-wing x-rays, sealants, covered at 100% day one. So as I mentioned before, you're talking to your client tomorrow, they need to go in, they, they need an exam, and they can go in tomorrow, and we'll cover it 100% day one. Basic fillings, simple extractions, we'll cover 65% day one. Again, they can go tomorrow, if they need a filling, we'll cover 65% day one. Major implants, root canals, crowns, bridges, dentures, covered at 20% day one. Same thing, they go in tomorrow, they need a crown, we'll cover 20%. Ortho, that's child ortho under age 19, we'll cover 15% day one. Now let's look at year two, so an anniversary. So after 12 months, preventative, of course, stays at 100%. Basic jumps from 65% to 80%. Major goes from 20 to 50% and ortho goes from 15 to 50%. So when you're talking to your client, day one benefits, if they need to go in tomorrow, is 165, 20, when it comes to preventive, basic, and major. Year two benefits, 180, 50. So again, we wanna add value to the client. We don't want a nine, 12 month waiting period on, on major. We don't want a six to, to nine month waiting period on basic. We wanna give that client the value as soon as possible. So again, no waiting periods, next day effective dates. Our deductible, very low deductible at $50. That deductible is just for basic and major. It does not apply for preventative or ortho. So that, that benefit year deductible is just towards basic and major. Benefit year max is one or 2,000. So going back to that product simplicity, you know, we don't wanna have 18 different products and have to choose which one is, is, is correct for the client. We want to have the best product out there, and that's what the client has to choose from. So again, just reiterating what it is, preventative 100% day one, basic 65% day one, 80% in year two, major 20% in, year, in uh, year one, tomorrow major 50% um, in year two, ortho 15 and 50, benefit your deductible $50, and benefit your max one or 2,000. So along with product simplicity, as you've seen on our product, 
very, very um, simple to understand and talk about. We don't want you to have to sit there for 30, 40 minutes um, going over a dental plan with a client. We want to roll out the best plan possible and have you talk them through it um, in, in, you know, 10, 15 minutes. Along with the simplicity of the product, we want member flexibility. So what comes with member flexibility is a client can either go in or out of network. Now I'll talk about it a ton throughout this webinar, but network is very, very important. Why? Because you, they get to take advantage of those negotiated rates. So what we do is we partner with providers and we negotiate rates with them on what they're gonna charge our customers. Right now we're anywhere from 20 to 50, 25 to 50% when it comes to negotiated rates. I would say on average, we're hovering around the 30, 32%. So without even talking about the product itself, you're already saving that client 25 to 50% on those negotiated rates. And I'll go over how large our network here is in, in just a little bit. So we pay claims at maximum allowable charge, which is MAC, which is negotiated rates. They can go in network or they can go out of network. I understand we don't have every dentist out there. Maybe your client's been going to a dentist for the past you know, 15 years, absolutely love that dentist. And for some rare occasions, they're just not in our network. That's okay, they can go to an out of network dentist. They just don't get the negotiated rates. We look at claims out of out of network as 80th UNC. So what out of eight out of 10 dentists charge in that specific zip code. An example of that would be if a client were to go get a crown tomorrow and they go to an out of network dentist and that out of network dentist charged $1,500 for that crown. And if we look in that specific zip code and eight out of 10 dentists charged 1,200, we would base our 20%, right, because Crown's a major, our 20% day one coverage off of that 1200 rather than that 1500 So they do have that opportunity to balance bill that out-of-network provider. A great website I use um, is fairhealthconsumer.org. I imagine a lot of people on this call use it as well. That'll just give you a good stepping stone to see, <clears throat> you know, what a Crown or denture or implant uh, what a feeling might cost in a specific zip code that you might market in the most. Just so if the client does ask, well, what's the normal cost of a crown in my specific my specific zip code? We'll just go to fairhealthconsumer.org and it'll have all that information. Again, that's not a, an emeritus affiliation website. I just like to use that website, uh, especially for my hypothetical illustration that I'll show you here in just a little bit. So why is network so important? Why have I been talking about it so much during this call? Again, like I said, I look at this tie for first place. When it comes to product itself, network is right next to it. You get lower premiums. So we have a PrimeStar Protect, which you can go in or out of network and the coinsurances don't change. Or we have PrimeStar Protect Network, where the coinsurances are the same if they go in network. But if they go out of network with that network plan, the coinsurances do drop. So that's why that PrimeStar Protect is a little bit more expensive than that PrimeStar Protect Network. Prime Star Protect Network's about 20% lower in premiums. The network, again, on, on both of them, Prime Star Protect, Prime Star Protect Network, going in network, you get the, the contracted fees, those negotiated rates. Again, we're anywhere from 25 to 50% on those negotiated rates. There's no balanced billing. Just like that example I went over with 80th UNC, you don't get that on the network side. Those negotiated rates, we've already talked to that provider, this is what you're gonna charge. No claim forms. All of our in-network providers submit the claim forms directly electronically to us. And overall, kind of great customers, customer experience, right? They get lower premiums. They take advantage of the, the contracted fees. They get no balance billing. They don't have to worry about claims forms. So going in-network does have that capability of, of just having that great customer experience. But again, we want that member flexibility so you can go in or out of network. So the Emeritus Dental Network, uh, you know, on here is committed to growth. I like to say we're committed to strategic growth, meaning we could probably go out there and get 100% of the dentists out there. But if we were to go out there and get 100% of the dentists, our negotiated rates will fall, right? So we want to partner with those providers who provide that economic value to that client. You know, if we team up with a provider who says, yeah, I'll give, you know, a 5% discount, well, that's not really a great negotiated rate. We want it somewhere in that 25 to 50% range other than you know five percent our average would drop so we partner with those providers who give great economic value that's why i like to say we're committed to strategic growth we want to find those partners 
who do provide that economic value. Just in the past year, we've grown about 70,000 access points. We're about 560,000 access points nationwide. Access points is just the actual brick and mortar location where a client can seek dental services. And inside of those access points are the actual dentists, unique providers. So we have about 127, 130,000 unique providers nationwide. To put that in perspective of how many dentists are out there nationwide, there's about 180, 185,000 dentists nationwide. So our network is very, very large, largest in the industry. So take that into account when you are talking about the product, you know, steer them towards a, a network, steer, steer them towards, you know, the, the, the value of having uh, the Emeritus product and being in the Emeritus network. So here's my hypothetical illustration um, I'd like to go over just to kind of show you, because sometimes, you know, when you, when you talk about savings and talking about, you know, how it all, how it works, how it's put together, you know, what's, what's Taylor talking about being tied for first place when it comes to network and product. I like to show this. Um, we actually have a great flyer that is on our marketing website, which is uh, explore.emeritus.com backslash agent marketing. I'll say that again at the end of the webinar, but on that has great social media posts that has great flyers, like, like the one you can barely see on here, but um, that flyer just kind of goes over the same thing we're about to go over. Um, again, great LinkedIn posts, uh, great things that you can send to the client, just a lot of material um, on that website. Again, that's explore.emeritus.com backslash agent marketing. Um, so with this, average procedures of fees, this plays a big part on, on that conversation on, on how dental saves that client X amount of dollars, how we're providing that economic value. So back to the fairhealthconsumer.org, same thing. I went to fairhealthconsumer.org, I typed in a zip code. This is actually a Minnesota zip code. And again, just for your purposes, you can type in the zip code that you've mostly marketed in and look at, hey, what's a crown denture? And you can do the same thing, sample average procedures of fees. So a crown in this specific zip code is around $1,200, $1,300. So if they, you know, realistically, if they were to go out and, and they need a crown tomorrow, in this specific zip code, they're going to be paying around $1,300. So how this plays a part with our network is we've already talked to our in-network providers. They have negotiated rates. Right now, we're averaging around 30 31% when it comes to negotiated rates. So right off the bat, without even talking about, again, the product itself, with our no waiting periods, 20% day one on major, you can already take off X amount of dollars because you're going in network. So again, we average about 30, 31% off our negotiated rates. You're saving that client already $400 by going to the Americas network. Then you times that network rate times 20%, right? Because it's 20% savings when it comes to uh, majors in year one. Day one cost is $647. So hypothetically, you're saving that client almost $600 day one by going with Emeritus Dental. And again, day one meaning if they go tomorrow and that dentist says, yeah, you need crown. Well, you're going to be saving that client a ton of money, both if they're in the network and they have our product. Now, again, if you want to base it off of uh, going out of network, well, it works the same way, except just take out that network rate. So you would base it 20% off of that UNC rate. So again, day one cost by going in network, $600. Big savings. Year two. So back to that referral conversation. They're going to, of course, be talking about it. If you save someone $600 tomorrow, they're going to be talking about it, right? Their neighbors, their friends, their family. Hey, I just saved $600 by going with Mr. and Mrs. Agent. Year two. Again, on major, it bumps up to 50% in year two. Year two cost, same thing, network rate times 50%. You're saving that client almost $830. Referral base with this product can either be tomorrow or let's just say, hey, they just may, maybe need an exam, maybe they need a filling in the first year, but in year two, they, they needed you know, maybe an implant, maybe a crown. They're going to be talking about it again. Wow, good thing I signed up uh, for, for Emeritus Dental because I just saved even more money that referral base will always grow with a product like Dental and Vision. They're going to use it, right? They're going to use it. Adding value uh, alongside Medicare, I like to have this slide up, even though AEP is over. Um, you know, goodness, here before long, it's going to be here again. But 
I just like the facts behind these questions. Everyone knows how to start the conversation. I brought it up at the beginning of the webinar. It's really as easy as, do you need dental and vision, right? So do you currently have dental insurance? This is where the demand really paints a picture with, with regards to over 65. 71% of people plan on purchasing dental upon retirement. Seven out of 10 clients you talk to plan on purchasing dental. It's a large number. So maybe you're thinking right now, well, I haven't really been talking about it that much. I might bring it up 20% of the time. Think about it if you bring it up 100% of the time. Again, more products you have, better persistency, commissions, business, referrals, reputation, all that grows. So just remember, bring it up. How do they plan on, how do they plan on uh, paying for dental expenses? Average senior spends almost $1,200 in dental expenses. Again, we have negotiated rates. We have no waiting periods, next day effective dates. All of that stuff plays a big picture for that savings, for that senior. Or again, maybe you do focus a little bit in the under 65 space. Same thing. Our product's 18 and older. Traditional Medicare does not cover dental. Everyone on this call knows that. Traditional Medicare does not. Yes, there is some Medicare Advantage that does cover a little bit of dental. Good thing here at Emeritus is we do not coordinate benefits, so we'll always pay as a primary. That's great because if they have Medicare, fantastic. We'll also pay as well, so they can they can have they can have both plans. But again, traditional Medicare, as everyone knows, does not cover dental. Switching gears to vision, uh, I've, I've always contemplated putting vision um, at the beginning of this webinar, just because vision is just as important, especially in the uh, the retiree marketplace. Vision is very important, right? Increased risk of falls, fractures, depression, uh, identifying medications, bathing, dressing. There's a lot that plays a part with regards to uh, over 65 when it comes to vision. So you might be saying, well, why does he want to move this to the front of the webinar? Because it is just as important. Like I said, time for first place was network and, and dental plan itself. Well, there's three things tied from first place, and that's vision. There's a there's a big market for vision. I think a lot of the times we kind of forget to to bring it up when you're just talking to a client, kind of focused on dental. But just again, same thing. Make sure you're bringing up both dental and vision. There's really three things that that boil down to when you're talking to a client when it comes to vision and, and what insurance they want to go to. Here at Emeritus. Um, we're, we're the only carrier that offers both IMED and VSP. So with that member flexibility that we have on um, our, our dental product that you can go in or out of network, we have that member flexibility at that point of enrollment that they can choose IMED or VSP. There's three things, again, that boil down to, to a vision plan, what, what, what fits best for the client. Number one is where are they used to go in? Or who are they used to use it? Well, who do they like to use, right? If they've been, been with IMED for the past 25 years and, and they like it, then IMED's probably going to be the best route for them, right? Number two is what's their budget? IMED, you're looking at just over $10, VSP just over 16 So what's their budget? Number three is benefit frequencies. I'll go through here in just a little bit, but IMED is once per year for on exams and once every two years for eyeglass lenses and frames. VSP? is once per year for everything. So those three things really boil down when you have that conversation with that client is, you know, where are they used to going? Where do they feel comfortable the most going? Number two is what, what, what's their budget? And number three is benefit frequencies. You know, if they don't need eyeglass, eyeglasses or contacts, you know, only once every two years, then IMED might be the way to go. It really just talks about those three things that boils down to vision. So IMED, again, you're looking at like Lens Crafters, Pearl Vision, Target Optical. This is, the, this is more of the value plan with regards to both VSP and IMED. IMED's a little bit cheaper. So a little bit cheaper plan, the eye exam's gonna be a little bit more expensive. Eye exam's $25. Frame and contact allowance is $130. Benefit frequencies, like I mentioned before, with IMED, once, once per year for an exam and once every two years for eyeglass lenses or contacts and frames. So just over $10, you're looking at like Lens Crafters, Pearl Vision, benefit frequencies, one once per year for an exam, once every two years for eyeglass lenses, contacts, and frames. BSB, Costco, Walmart, Sam's Club, Vision Works. 
a little bit more expensive than the IMED plan, a little bit more expensive plan, right? Eye exams will be a little bit less expensive, $10 compared to $25 with IMED. Frame and contact allowance, again, a little bit more expensive, so you're going to get a little bit more allowance, $150 allowance for frames and contacts. Benefit frequencies, back to being a little bit more expensive than IMED. Once per year for everything, exam, eyeglasses, and the contacts, and frames. So just over $10 for IMED, which was $25 for an exam. Benefit frequencies uh, was once per year for an exam, once every two years for eyeglass lenses or contacts and frames. A little bit more expensive plan with VSP, just over $16. Benefit frequencies once per year for everything. An eye exam was $10. And then you also have that allowance that jumps up from 130 with IMED to 150 with VSP. So again, remember those three things, boils down to where they used to go in, benefit frequencies, and budget. So back to the ease of enrollment. As I mentioned uh, at the beginning of this webinar, once you do get contracted with us through Premier, what you'll receive is a personalized URL, personalized hyperlink that is uniquely tied to you. This is how you quote, this is how you enroll, this is how we track your business, your commissions, this is how we do everything. So make sure you don't use uh, our website to enroll a client. Make sure you don't use another agent's hyperlink to enroll a client. Use your hyperlink to, to just to quote and enroll. Do both on your hyperlink. You can quote, of course, you know, on our website, but just to make sure maybe you want to send that quote off, they can easily, that, that connects to your hyperlink. So just quote and enroll off your personalized hyperlink. So real quick, as I mentioned before, we actually transitioned uh, to a new um, website uh, just a couple of days ago. So maybe you've been contracted with us before, you just want to learn a little bit more about Emeritus, how we stand out from the crowd, or maybe you haven't been contracted with us yet. So this doesn't really play a, play a part for you. But if you, if you are contracted with us, you, you should have received an email a couple of days ago um, about this transition to the new website. Um, your current hyperlink that you've always had will automatically go to your new hyperlink. But once you go there, just, just copy and paste that URL and, and make sure you just use that one moving forward. Um, but, but you can still, of course, use the, the old one. But for a smoother transition, just use the myplan.emeritus.com and it'll have your information there. So again, if you, if you have been contracted with us, if you're, if you're going to be getting contracted with us, just to make sure you know that you, you're on your hyperlink, up here in the top right-hand corner, there's a My Agent tab. And on that My Agent tab, you'll see your information. So again, this is mine. You'll see my information on here. But just to make sure, you can check that every, every once in a while to make sure you're, you're on your right hyperlink. So this is our quoting and enrollment site. Very, very easy. I'm just going to type in an a Oklahoma zip code just to get us started here. And what'll happen is it'll ask you, do you wanna, do you need dental coverage? Which you'll press yes. Do you need vision coverage? Both are standalone plans. So you could have chose no, not right now for dental and yes for vision or vice versa. Or you can do both, we'll just do both. How many need coverage? You have one, one, one plus applicant um, or applicant plus one, family. And then, you know, it goes all the way up to how, however many dependents that client has. But right now we'll just do who needs coverage. We'll just do one currently. And then those dental plans will come up. So as I mentioned before, you'll see Prime Star Protect Network at the, at the top because that's the, it's gonna be the cheaper of the two plans. And then you'll have Prime Star Protect. So again, the two differences are Prime Star Protect. You can go in or out of network and the co-insurances co do not change. That's why it's a little bit more expensive. Prime Star Protect Network. If you go in network, great. Co-insurance are just like Prime Star Protect. But if you go out of network with the network plan, those co-insurances do drop. So make sure if they are going with that Prime Star Protect Network plan, that they're going to an in-network provider. You can see plan details as well. If you click on um, plan, uh, plan details, and then you can hide, of course, plan details. So let's just click on Prime Star Protect Network. Next that'll pop up is vision plans, right? Because we, we pressed yes, and we do want to do, do purchase a vision plan. So it'll pop up 
Prime Star Choice, which is our VSP plan, or Prime Star Select, which is our IMED. Again, same thing, just over $16 for VSP, just over $10 for IMED. We'll just click on VSP, and then you'll review, or the client will review, because again, this is in a face to face. You can send your hyperlink out to the client, and they can do this themselves, or you can walk them through it via Zoom. Or if you are face to face, um, maybe some people are starting to do that um, as, as time goes further along with with COVID. Um, maybe you're face to face with them and, and doing this as well. It doesn't. It does not matter. So this is a review. You look at the total monthly cost and enroll now. Plan effective date. Again, you can have it as soon as tomorrow. So they can go tomorrow and go see the dentist and they'll be covered. Email, um, an email, you don't have to have an email address. Um, if they do put an email address, they'll have the capability of getting um, electronically submitted ID cards. So right now, um, if they don't have an email address, we, we send them via mail paper ID cards in the mail, but we can send them electronically now with our new website um, if they do put their email address in there. If you wanna continue without email, that's okay as well. Applicant information is what you'll type in here. And then you'll go through it, you'll review, and then you'll go through payment information. Just for time purposes, I'm not gonna go through all of that, but very, very simple when it comes to the enrollment process. There's no social security, there's no e-signature, so nothing's going to be sent to the client saying, hey, sign this, and then it'll, it'll be in effect. There's none of that. So it's a very, very seamless process. You can either do EFT or credit card when it comes to payment information. Um, so easy, easy, easy process there as well. Uh, really, really like this new uh, website that we did launch. It's more mobile friendly. So if you do do a lot of your sales, maybe on an iPad or, or, or a phone, um, it's very friendly with those as well. And then the next thing I want to show you guys is find a provider. So find a provider is, is probably one of the first things I like to tell agents to do when they are talking to a client or if you're, you know, writing to an, an email to a client saying, hey, go to find a provider first just to make sure maybe to look at uh, their provider, see if they're in network or hey, search their area and see what provider is in their, in their area. So here we'll just type in uh, a Yukon, Oklahoma zip code. Classic PPO is, is the uh, is the network for the individual plans, and you'll press search. So what will populate is all of our in-network providers. There'll be a lot, and you can you can look at it by 10 mile radius, 20 mile radius. You can look it up by here. I'll do additional filters here. You can look it up by um, provider's name. Um, you can look it up by, again, radius, language, all sorts of things that you can do um, with, with additional filters. But the ones that will pop up are all in-network. I always get the question of, okay, are the ones in green just the in-network? No. The ones in green, we just want to say thank you to those providers for applying more economic value to the client. So they went above and beyond when it comes to negotiated rates. Our average is around 30% they're probably over that average just because they went um, a little bit more when it comes to those negotiated rates. So we want to say thank you to those providers. And those are the ones in green. Ones in, the ones in uh, black lettering are in our network and have great negotiated rates. Um, so that's the, that's the question I always get it. Okay, so everyone on this spreadsheet are in network and that is, that is correct. So first thing I always do is just make sure um, that client realizes how to find a provider how they can go on here and see who's in our network. Um, again, this plays a big part if a client saying, yeah, I definitely want to go in network because I want the Prime Star Protect network plan. I want to save about 20% on premiums. That plays a big part if you do this first. So again, make sure to go to find a provider and the ones in green display just a, just a more cost effective provider. All right, so switching gears to, we went through find a provider and that confirmation email. So when you do enroll a client or if they enroll themselves, so say you have that hyperlink, that, that personalized URL on your website and a client's visiting the website and they enroll themselves, you're gonna get notified once a client does enroll. Or if you do send it out to a bulk of your clients and say, hey, I just signed up on a great new dental plan, feel free to enroll yourselves or give me a call if you need help. 
you'll get notified if that client does enroll. So it's a great confirmation email to remember the policyholder again, if they did put their email address in there, they'll receive an email as well. So again, what's in it for the agent? Availability is still 12 months out of the year, right? It's not just for AEP or anything like that. You can sell 12 months out of the year. Uh, what I always like to say is, you know, if they, if they do have a Medicare Advantage plan that has a little bit of dental in it, the good thing about an individual dental plan is you don't have to wait until, you know, AEP or, or whenever to transi transition them to a different plan. The dental plan is always with them. You know, they don't have to do anything. So that's just kind of the, the ease factor of, of having an individual dental product. Referrals and leads, right? They're going to be talking about it. You save them X amount of dollars, they're going to be talking about it. Your leads will grow. Remaining relevant, be that one-stop shop. Make sure you're offering it, bring it up. Do you need dental and vision? The more products you have with that client, the better persistency you're going to have. And again, back to adding value to your client's life day one, that's our, that's our main goal here at Emeritus is to add value as soon as possible. That's why we have no waiting periods. Next day effective dates, great negotiated rates, and your reputation will grow. One thing I do want to touch on um, before we get to the questions um, with, with John is we are going to be launching new products uh, come end of July, beginning of August. Um, I think this is the first webinar that I've um, openly spoken about the new products, but I'm very, very excited about them. Um, we've done some things that I think are very, very different in the marketplace. We're adding, uh, it's going to be a, a, a portfolio of products. We're actually adding a value plan which is a little bit, you know, cheaper plan around that $19, $21. We're adding um, a plan that has um, uh, hearing onto it. Uh, we're also doing a lot of other things with, with co-insurance and, and maximum benefits. And we're also adding like LASIK and um, uh, teeth whitening on another plan. So we're making things really, really innovative when it comes to uh, products, you know, launching um, at the end of um, July, beginning of August this year. So be on the lookout for more information about that. I don't want to go too much in depth with the new products. Prime Star Protect is the current plan. Great plan. Absolutely love it. Uh, but I am also excited about the new product portfolio launching end of July, beginning of August. So keep an eye out on your email um, on, on new stuff that's going to be coming out. We'll keep you updated on, on that launch, but just wanted to to let you know that those are some cool things that are coming down the pipeline. So John, if there are any questions, um, I'd, I'd love to answer them. The next steps for, for the clients or the agents, you know, complete your appointment paperwork with Premier, and then you'll receive your, your personalized URL that we just went over to quote and enroll your clients. Awesome, thank you, Taylor. I think you covered a, a number of the questions that are there, but one of them, Craig is asking, is it full coverage day one? If it is, is this a takeover from other coverages? No, we don't have takeover, no. It's just uh, full coverage, meaning 165.20 day one, 180.50 in year two. Uh, we don't have takeover, meaning if a client was on a different plan and then they transition, they don't have 180.50 year one. It's always 165.20 year one, 180.50 in year two. But it is a fee for service or fee for service type of product, so it'll pay in addition to any other coverage. They will. Yep, we don't coordinate benefits. Okay, great. Next one discusses the network. You spent some time on that on the website, so that's wonderful. That one's addressed. It asks about the premium on the example. I think you did that both in the PowerPoint and on your illustration as well. Um, it's asking an additional question. Uh, an agent recently contracted with Emeritus Dental. Is there a separate contract for the life products offered by Emeritus, or is it that same contract? That's a different contract. And, and John, I don't know. Do you guys have the the life contract on your side? Yes. So it is okay. available. Yeah, yeah, but it is a separate contract. Yep. Awesome. Uh, are there any prepared or mirror internet marketing or landing pages available? So some of the marketing assistance. Yeah, we have a lot of that explore, and I'll say it slower this time. It's explore.emeritus.com backslash agent marketing. 
And that has a lot of great flyers, social media posts, email posts, all sorts of stuff on there that you can find that are that are client facing, that are information for you. So take a look at that and, and I imagine what you're looking for is in there. Awesome. An additional question compares your Meritas offerings versus some of the discount programs that are out there and available. Um, what is the chief differentiator between them? Obviously, probably the payments, but I'll defer to you on that. Yeah, discount plans are, are, are different, right? They're, they're just discount plans. You don't get negotiated rates. You don't get, you know, the percentage of, of payment off. It's just a, a discount plan. You know, you're going to have it. They're, they're cheaper because all they are discount plans. Um, so you don't get the full benefit of, and a lot of the discount plans, right? You, John, you probably know this as well. You know, a lot of discount plans don't have a lot of majors in there, like implants or dentures or stuff like that. So it plays a big part in, especially in that over 65 space. A big deal where the, the big dollar exposure isn't covered in many instances by the discount plan. Mm -hmm. A different, yep. different animal with uh, Emeritus. Um, are there plan family plans or only individual plans? I think he illustrated the individual one, but um, there are family plans available as well. Absolutely, you have, you have AppKent, AppKent plus one, or or family, right? So family dependents. To be honest with you, you know you can go all the way up to ten dependents, however many kids you have. Um, so yeah, definitely family plan as well. And the last one is there a standalone vision only plan? Absolutely. Yep. Both are standalone, IMED or VSP. If they don't need dental, then of course I can just buy the standalone VSP or IMED plan. Awesome. I think that covers the, the bulk of it. I'm going to pull control back. Um, once again, bless the audience with your visage on, on the slide here. And we'll, we'll wrap up with just a few slides on why you would want to do Emeritus through Premier. Thank you for the presentation, Taylor. We'll roll with some of this. Obviously, one of the things that makes life easier is how you contract. Emeritas has an electronic link we use distinctly for them, but if there's other product within our organization that you wish to utilize, we do have the assurance-based system in there where you can set up an agent profile and contract electronically with multiple uh, carriers and organizations, so that's there for you. We do offer discounted errors and admissions quali uh, coverage for qualified agents. What makes you a qualified agent? Well, you got a contract with us. This is a program you own, so it covers you regardless of whom you're contracting through for products in the insurance world. We all know the vast majority of carriers require E&O now. This is a great way for you to own your own coverage instead of being added to a blanket policy for uh, a marketing organization only covers you for one product. You still have the exposure outside of that. This takes care of that. We do also help you maintain your license through discounted continuing education courses through our association with WebCE. And we have a program where you can pick up disability income insurance for yourself on a, merit, a modified guarantee issue basis where you're paid commission on that product. So a way to expand your own benefits as well. As we mentioned at the start of the presentation, this is being recorded and you will get a link to it. We do also post it on our website at Premier SMI and on our YouTube channel. So you can go back and view this presentation and past presentations that deal with different marketing ideas. Uh, Taylor uh, has emphasized how this is a great referral product. We just did a webinar on referrals. So we'll attach a link to that as part of the follow-up because it's distinctly uh, alluded to in the conversation. But this gives you additional ways of gaining information about product type, carrier-specific programs, marketing programs that we have in play that can help you. And agents that are contracted with us do have complimentary access, complimentary meaning free. Sorry, an old MA guy, I have a hard time with that word. But this is a program that's available to you where it has three quoting engines through a one universal login provides a CRM for your use so you can manage your book of business. It allows you to con, uh, contact, procure, and store the scope of appointment. And that's one of the things that you'll see with dental programs, dental vision programs, they're actually listed on that scope of appointment. So it's a great way to prep people to talk about additional programs. And this gives you then the opportunity to compare MA programs, 
uh, PDP programs and access to the CSG program that's in there as well. So you're powered by three different engines, Connecture, Sunfire, and CSG. That gives you some great access on cross-selling, and it gives you the opportunity to take advantage of the additional incentives that many carriers offer time to time about their products. Can't do that with MA and PDP programs because the comp set by the government max. Um, but ancillary products, a great way to earn additional marketing dollars, perhaps, or bonus programs. We don't say bonus programs out loud, John. Um, but it also gives you an opportunity to qualify for carrier trips. These type of incentives also help you qualify for premier incentive programs, which last year was going to be a cruise turned into dollars. So a great way to add to your compensation package. We do help you with contact lists that are available for you, but it up against do not call because, hey, you can cold call for dental. You don't hear as much of that. You, all the commercials you see on TV with retired, big-eared representatives are concentrating on Medicare Advantage or maybe MedSup or dual SNP programs or maybe even occasionally final expense programs. We can cold call for all of that and we can help you with a list for that. We also help you understand what you can do in a retail marketing situation. For those of you who sat in a Walmart or a carrier type of presentation, remember you're using that scope. You're prefacing a conversation about dental vision products as well. And you have programs that are available for you to use on a live uh, presentation or virtually through a webinar through different organizations of influence, those so centers of influence in the community and include faith-based organizations, marketing through providers. Marketing with dentists is a great way to maximize the value of this program, and we speak to how you can approach and market through that population. Carriers do occasionally generate prospects for you. We see that more in the MA or PDP world, where if you've done business with a carrier and they have a decent product, dual special needs plan, we'll see many of them that want to continue that relationship you had through AEP and help you out there. There are innovative marketing programs outside of that as well, but a great way to do that. We do offer internet leads and direct mail support. The direct mail support are, is a two-pronged discount program based on your production. You can qualify for it through health products, and you can also qualify for it separately, an additional program through final expense programs. It discounts the cost of those mailings significantly so you can use it like a true exercise program. Do it consistently. Sometimes you exercise once a week, all you're feeling is the pain, you don't see a lot of the results. Same way here, if we do some things consistently with reaching out to the population, go have a steadier flow of people to speak to. We use vetted lead vendors to do that. We do that because we review the communication and make certain that we keep you uh, in compliance and protect you in that fashion. For those who don't want to manage their own campaign, and the opportunity to get really fresh leads because you have a notification that you have a prospect that wants to speak with you, you have then an opportunity to purchase returns as well. The prices on these will fluctuate according to supply and demand, but it's a great way to massage your marketing budget and also add to any programs you have right now to increase your lead flow. We also have a Facebook program that helps you with some pretty quick response in both final expense and the Medicare arena as well. All this said and done, we do these types of programs. We partner with, pardon the pun, premier organizations such as Emeritus because we want your business. We want the business that you can uh, deliver in these types of programs, other programs that we have, but also if you already have these contracts, you're confident with what it offers and you speak to other agents, we'd appreciate the referral. There's a plug on our referral basis. We want your business and we want you to make this a part of your overall personal marketing plan. Put it in play. So like John Wayne says in the, the movie, The Cowboys, we're burning daylight. No sense procrastinating contract. Get it out in your marketing program. We have different ways to help you design that as well. So all that said and done, we're going to check and make certain that we covered all the questions. And yes, there are a number, but we have. You can reach out to us if you're quick on the draw here. 
through the toll-free number at 1-800-365-8208 or through our website at premiersmi.com. We are also, as I mentioned, going to be sending out follow-up to today's presentation. You can respond to that email. Watch it because we have links and attachments periodically in those follow-ups that may put it into your spam filter. So watch your spam filter as well. But it gives you the opportunity to reach out proactively to us. We're going to follow up with you as well. We're going to reach out and make certain that you have your own personal questions covered and give you the opportunity to discuss the marketing programs if you're already contracted or contracting and the marketing programs if you are not. So all that said and done, we realize your most valuable commodity is your time. We thank you for the investment of that with us here today. We appreciate the business relationship we have with many of you and the business that we have uh, received from you. Thank you. A sincere thank you. And until we have the opportunity to speak with you here again, we're going to wish you good selling. Have a great day, and we'll talk to you all soon. Once again, thanks, Taylor. Thank you. See you, everyone.